What's up guys, Eric here from Sonic. On this video, let's go ahead and answer one of the most frequently asked questions that we get in regards to our kit, which is what is the difference between smartphone mirroring and Apple CarPlay or Android Auto? This main difference is for smartphone mirroring, you're basically going to see whatever you see on your phone screen onto the car's screen. So for example, say that you know on a normal given day, using your phone, you watch YouTube with it, go to Facebook or Instagram. You, have, you do that while you're plugged into our smartphone mirroring kit. You're going to see exactly what you see on your phone screen, on your car screen. And the benefit that you'll get is when you're in your vehicle, you're driving and you have some videos you want to show to your kids to keep them quiet and entertained. Before you had to use um, a phone holder in your car and you mount it in a certain location in your vehicle and do it. Now you can have it feel factory and have it stream on your factory screen. And you can also use the car screen instead of constantly having to hold your phone and use your phone and so forth. And so what type of people would want to purchase such smartphone mirror system? As that per that example I gave you to watch stream videos for their passengers or some other special applications that you have to go off-roading like off-roading map and so forth that you cannot use on an Apple CarPlay or Android Auto device. So the solution does not limit you to what you want to display on your car screen. So that is phone mirroring and it has a lot of advantages but the biggest disadvantage is the resolution. The resolution on the car screen is limited to what the car screen can handle which isn't that great compared to your phone. So when you're always used to seeing super sharp images on your phone and, and then you display that on the car screen, sometimes you might not be as satisfied because you're just so used to it. It's like being used to watching Blu-ray DVDs and all of a sudden, you know, like your relative comes over with a DVD from like 15 years ago, you watch that and it's like, oh, you know, it's not as sharp. And, and your eyes are just so used to the Blu-ray quality now that everything kind of looks more blurry. However, when you watch videos such as YouTube for the car screen size, because there's so many pixels that are just compressed into that small screen, you don't realize the degradation on the screen quality as much as a map application such as Google Maps where every single pixel matters when it comes to reading the map street names and so forth. So, if you're going to may be mainly using the system for videos and not so much for maps, maybe sometimes for maps, the phone mirroring system will work. Um, it's just that we don't recommend using map applications like Google Maps that requires every single pixel. Um, instead, we recommend using map applications such as Waze. If you use Waze because the whole entire map application is more animated than Google Maps, the screen actually comes out pretty clear like it's not it's not too bad but if you want to step it up a notch and if you're going to be purchasing a kit just for the maps just just all you need you don't need to watch movies and so forth then i definitely recommend you to get the apple carplay android auto the Sonic s connect kit so that one is made just for maps and just for application to use while you're driving and of course the application that you'll be using while you're driving are not going to be the movie and the video players because the actual manufacturer, Apple and Google, they have blocked it so that you cannot watch movies while you're in the vehicle driving, such as YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, or any other movies or video players. Another advantage of using Apple CarPlay Android Auto over the smartphone mirroring system is everything is going to be interactive in your factory touchscreen or your factory joystick. So for, for Toyota vehicles, since Toyota vehicles are touchscreen, you're going to actually be able to use a touch screen, drag and select your application and so forth. Whereas when you use a phone mirroring system, you're going to have to do all that on your phone and not on the screen. All right. So to sum it up of Apple CarPlay Android Auto System is you can use a factory touch screen and also the factory joystick and the touchpad to control the applications. But you will not be able to do that with the smartphone mirroring system. And then the advantage of the smartphone mirror system is you can watch movies and you could basically open up any applications you want. Whereas the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is very restricted to which application is safe for you to use while you're driving. 
All right, so if you have any additional questions, leave me a line below. I'll be sure to answer all of them for you. Or you can also email us at info at bsonicusa.com. Thank you.